that put me out of my comfort zone in a sense and I thought therefore it would be challenging and I wanted to do this. Did you prepare for this role or did you draw upon your experiences as a father or I just did the general preparation that I normally do with every film, which is uh, to question, uh, you know, the the lines that somebody, that the character says, or the way he reacts or responds, etc. And then you start building a framework, and then you act within that. So just my regular process of how I prepare for a role is how I prepare. Last question from you: What was the reason for keeping away for 15 years from Hindi cinema? But Hindi, I didn't uh, act in any movie in any language uh, for the last, I think from 2000 was my last film with uh, Mr. Mani Ratnam. After that I didn't, uh, I had quit films because I wanted to do other things. Uh, I started out very early uh, at 20 when I did Talabadi and 21 when I did Roja. <clears throat> and I thought, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to get uh, just caught within uh, this one profession. I wanted to experience other things, I had other ideas, I wanted to do other businesses. I, uh, so I just went ahead and explored all that. And uh, about maybe three years back, Mr. Maniratnam had wanted me to come back and do a film called Kadal in Tamil, for which I came back. Till then I didn't act, not just in Hindi, but in any other language. Arvind, there are two questions from you. One is, is it only a Hindi version or there is a Tamil version also? And number two is, what difference do you find in your two different innings? The earlier innings and the current innings, where you are in a different kind of avatar? Uh, the first part, which is it's just a Hindi film, uh, we didn't do it in any other language. Uh, there's a lot of change, of course, time brings about change, uh, including in me. It brings about, uh, a, it's brought about a lot of change in the way the audience, uh, the audience in itself, uh, it's the next generation of film goers who are watching it than when they were watching it in the 90s. Uh, this uh, audience is more uh, receptive to new ideas. Uh, they've had, a, they've already had a lot of visual experiences in terms of uh, the internet or, uh, you know, an exposure uh, to world cinema in a sense. Uh, they're, uh, I believe that they're more receptive to new concepts and new ideas and they don't want the conventional movie structure that we've been having since those days. So. Hi, hi Arvind, uh, this is Arvind Kukhani. Uh, my question, please up ahead, you can't see it, sorry. The question is, uh, are you in touch with your uh, Bollywood colleagues? Uh, you have two days time, so are you going to meet anybody in these 48 hours? <laughs> Did I meet somebody now in the last, since I came here, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, met Mr. Anupam care, uh, we just happened to meet yesterday. But I'm uh, actually a pretty solitary person in that sense that I don't uh, have many friends within or outside the industry. I just keep to myself. So. Do you watch uh, any uh, Hindi film in the last three, four, five years or any particular film, any particular actor? I've, uh, I don't watch too many films in any language, in Tamil, English or Hindi. But I have watched uh, a few. So what was the specific reason behind uh, not doing movies in the last 10, 12, 15 years? Um, to me personally, this is not the only thing that I want to do in my life. I want to do other things as well. Uh, so I had some ideas on uh, certain um, businesses, some technology, some applications. So I was doing that in different parts of the world. Um, and uh, then I wanted to be a full-time parent uh, and balance my life. and. Uh, time with my kids. Um, so that happened. Uh, so for about 10 years, my primary thing was just to raise my kids. Um, I play a lot of video games online, so a lot of my time goes in that as well. Uh, and I also do movies. <laughs> so now when you see those shots between two mountains, you are sitting and Roja Janeman and Hamma Hamma and Kuchi Kuchi Rakman, what uh, kya feel karte, how you feel all those shots while doing on seeing now? Well, I can still uh, appreciate those shots. <laughs> That's the good part of uh, doing some films. I think even after 20 years, you can still see and enjoy those films or at least most parts of it. So, I'm, I'm just look back, I'm happy that I did those films. Hi, Arvind. You can answer in Hindi or you want in English? You're asking me that question in English. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
कोशिश करूँगा कोशिश करूँगा कोई ना कोई तो सॉलिड रीजन रहा होगा फिल्म में वापस आने का या हिंदी फिल्म करने का तो मैं जानना चाहूँगी कि डियर डैड आपके लिए क्या है और नहीं ऐसे तो आई डोंट मैं प्लान नहीं करता हूँ कि मैं हिंदी फिल्म करूँ या तमिल में करूँ मुझे सिर्फ अगर एक स्क्रिप्ट अच्छा लगता है तो मैं आई जस्ट एक्सेप्ट दैट सॉरी दैट्स एस मच हिंदी इंसाइड विल बी सिटिंग हियर ऑल इवनिंग इफ आई कीप टॉकिंग सो यू नो आई देर वाज व्हेन यू वाच द फिल्म यू नो दैट देर वाज समथिंग दैट वाज प्रीटी कॉम्प्लेक्स अबाउट द स्टोरी एंड द सिचुएशन दैट दिस कैरेक्टर्स आर इन एंड लाइक ए तो द जेंटलमैन बिफोर आई वाज एक्सट्रीमली आउट ऑफ माय कंफर्ट जोन व्हेन आई रेड दैट टू अ पॉइंट वेयर आई डिंट नो व्हेदर आई वांटेड टू डू इट देन इट मेड मी रियलाइज दैट बिकॉज़ आई एम सो आउट ऑफ माय कंफर्ट जोन आई नीड टू डू इट बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दैट इज वेयर द चैलेंज फॉर एन एक्टर इज टू बी आउट ऑफ हिज और हर कंफर्ट जोन अदरवाइज इट बिकम्स द इजी Uh, thing that you know happens. So um, right now, like someone said, my second innings, if you can call that, uh, even in Tamil, for example, I'm uh, picking up scripts and roles that are uh, uh, that maybe people don't expect out of me. That uh, maybe I don't, uh, I'm not hundred percent confident that I can uh, do as an actor, and therefore that quest for trying to be convincing in that role makes the whole. प्रोसेस फॉर मी मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एक और सवाल था पिता और बेटे के बीच रिश्ते की बात करती है ये फिल्म तो आप अपने निजी जिंदगी में अपने पिता के साथ किस तरह का रिश्ता रहा है और कोई ऐसी चीज जो आप चेरिश करते हैं और हमसे शेयर कर सकते हैं जरूर माय फादर वाज वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट विद मी इन अ सेंस दैट ही वाज नॉट अ वेरी अप्रोचेबल पेरेंट लाइक हाउ आई थिंक आई एम विद माय kids i mean to me with me they can joke and they can talk and all that my and i used to go for every parent teachers association meeting with my for my kids but uh, i don't remember my father coming even for one pta meeting or even stepping inside my school that generation was like that it was okay uh, i think now uh, it's more hands on parenting to me my father was very inspirational he was uh, he, he was also involved uh, during the last part of the freedom struggle Uh, so i had a lot of inspirational stories he was in calcutta at that time um, and then he is a self made man uh, he came from a small village down south but uh, uh, you know by the time i was growing up he was a very uh, one of the very well known industrialist then and he came up the hard way he worked himself up um, had a lot of uh, so i was brought up with a lot of love and respect for this country and for the freedom that we all have today etc so that was my environment the you know the environment that I grew up in and it was thanks to him it's with these two primary characters but it's uh, actually it's like a journey where this man uh, has a he knows the direction in which he wants to go as to me is tum mere bare mein kya sochte so that actually is what happens within families right if there's some thing that goes wrong and you want somebody to understand you're not concerned then about what other people are thinking about you it's just that you want the people that you are close to to understand your situation or your dilemma or your problem or whatever it is so i think it is that it's not uh, you know it's not a regular uh, father son kind of a story Oh, I mean, hi. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, uh, seeing you today feels a little nostalgic because we have memories of you know Bombay and Roja. Uh, uh, but of course, here you are with a uh, people and families in similar situations like how these characters were. And uh, since it put me out of my comfort zone, like I said, it was important for me to do it. mainstream we barely see of uh, you know stars uh, taking up such challenging roles so that's why the question yeah no i mean if you notice uh, i mean if you look back since you said you know you were nostalgic and i need to go back also to those days none of those films uh, shared a standard commercial format in fact somebody asked me today why were you why are you playing a dad uh, you know so i said uh, in 93 when i was 
22 or 23 years old, I did Bombay, where I was a dad of twins. So I never thought of all these things as images or whatever. And uh, as you all know, like Roja and Bombay were hits across the country. Uh, after Bombay, my next film was with uh, a director whom I really respected called Bharadan in Malayalam. I did a movie called Devaragam. So I've not been somebody who's, you know, um, thought of what commercial um, progression for me as an actor would be, etc. It's important for me to have a uh, an experience that I treasure, I value uh, also and hopefully, you know, take the audience along with me. I met uh, Prashant E.G.V. Yes, sir. Uh, Jessa, I'm 